Hello y'all, welcome back to the content, man. It's your boy. Like you saw the disclaimer, YouTube got me in a bind. They trying to try get your boy. But I'ma still keep putting up amazing content for my guys, regardless of where you are on the earth. Um, I wanna make sure I give my guys the best content possible. Um, I honestly believe that um, this video is important. I'ma make a little series out of the pop balloon. We're gonna do each individual guy um, as they come along um, in each series um, to express the mentality why they was picked the mentality behind the woman etc so on and so forth i believe it's very important to investigate those ideas but let's ultimately let's get into the content you know if you came to see and let's get into it i'll have you hold that what's your name my name is troy and i'm 33 years old with a baby face <laughs> <laughs> all right troy what do you do i'm a family nurse practitioner with over seven years experience and i also recently uh started my own company uh, Hotline Health is a telemedicine company geared towards uh, men, but I'm qualified to help um, everyone. Okay. And I just uh, love being an entrepreneur and helping the community, and that's what I do. Very nice. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, mainly, I love to travel. Uh, mainly, of course, experiences uh, either in the Caribbean or Italy. I just love new experiences. I'm spontaneous. I'm also an adrenaline junkie, so either okay. from hang gliding, mm -hmm. uh, scuba diving, river rafting, jet ski, um, and then basic also like. I will say this now, you know, on the early bird, your boy seems like, your boy, he has, it's something about how he's dressed, it's the energy he give off the vibe, because looking at him, there's really nothing wrong with your boy, I'm looking at your boy, he don't, there's, no, there's literally nothing wrong, it's the haircut, the, the, the way he wears his clothes, it's giving off feminine, and unless you print, which means you got to be a rock star, you got to have certain qualities and traits, and you got to be super, like, exorbitantly wealthy. Unless you that, you can't really pull this off and it be comfortable for the average woman. Like, they not, when I say average woman, I'm not even talking about how she look. I'm talking about just mentally, like, is he not going to be attracted to you? It's like the average dude being attracted to a stud who, who, who like dudes. It's like, okay, but look at how you presenting yourself, your energy. I like women in dresses, you wearing baggy jeans, you sagging just as much as him. And then, like, it's getting to the point, oh, you know, you can get a classy stud. They say wearing suits. It don't matter how you look. But if she like dudes, you like, well, it's throwing you off. And that's what I get right here for right now. I'm, I'm just telling you my opinion, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's disclaimers. You know how it is. Like basketball and uh, just eating, you know, nice cuisines. Nice, nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for first and foremost um, a Christian woman, uh, mainly, you know, love God. Um, another plus is if she does attend church regularly, like I do, uh, and, and also if she can hold a note. This woman must be a demon for you to pop on a man saying you must love God and attend church. Maybe, maybe y'all have a conversation, but for you to pop. That's crazy work. That's crazy work. She must be a demon. And it typically be them light brights that be on that type of time. Not all of them, obviously. I said typically, but yeah, man. And But you can tell how she dressed. She more of a the bougie casual Starbucks in the morning type of, you know, shorty type. You know what I'm saying? You got to know. Again, energy, man. The, the nonverbal. Your nonverbal got to be. Get your nonverbal game up. <laughs> Um, you know, I love to sing and so maybe do a little duets, you know, would be nice okay. and go from there and mainly someone that has a caring spirit and just a sweet person. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, mainly someone who smokes mm. um, and just not a pleasant attitude and someone who can just be peaceful, but also loves to try new things and just have fun. Okay. All right. Well, okay. we did get uh, two pop balloons. Mm -hmm. Let's head on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right, definitely. All right, come on. Okay, we can have your name and age. Hi, baby face. My name is <laughs> Layla Elise. I'm 29. Okay. I see my man. I'm looking at how he dressing right here. The shoes really threw me off with the hots and everything. Again, the women are going to hear him out, but... Just because they women, they want to hear him out. And he's feminine, so they're going to want to... If you're a feminine guy, they're they going to want to hear you out to a degree. They're going to want to understand why you move the way you move, etc. But... Mm. And Layla, Elise, what do you do? I am a real estate investor, and I also just got into project management. Awesome. Okay, so why did you end up popping your balloon? 
So I really love your demeanor. Okay, thank um, you. Very calm, very welcoming. I feel very comfortable. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, we just don't align in terms of like the church, okay. you know? That's fair. Um, I am an adrenaline junkie too. Okay. But yeah, the church, that's a big thing we wouldn't align on. I think that's very foundational. It's very important. Yes, yes. Um, and then, yeah. All right. I respect that. What? I'm going to be honest. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to be honest, y'all. What she said right there did not make sense to me. He said he goes to church. He sings in church. He's active in the church. And he consistently goes. And for some way, some reason, you're telling him that you're not, y'all not aligned? How does that work? How are you not aligned? I don't understand. How are you guys not aligned? How are you guys not on one accord? Y'all should be on the same program. I don't understand. And I can guarantee you this. It's because of how he looked. She's, he's not her cup of tea. Which means, again, I, I'm a guy, so I can't necessarily rate the man. But when it comes to Chad, Tyrone, etc., he don't give me Chad. You know what I'm saying? He don't give me Tyrone. You know what I'm saying? At best, he give me, he give me, I don't even know. I can't even tell you right now, putting a thumb on it. He just don't give me Tyrone right now. That's just my personal opinion. Um, But if he was the Tyrone, which is going to happen later in the show, they going, whatever that man want to do, they going to be on his program. She just canceled, this, disqualified the man for something that didn't even make sense. Made no sense. Definitely. Now, is uh, Layla Lee someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. She's beautiful. I love the color she has, you know, and it compliments her well. Thank you. Thank you. And we did get one more down over here. Right. Let's head on over there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Kendra, I'm 29. All right. Nice Kendra, to meet you. what do you do? I work in sports. I am the head of a marketplace for an NIL network. Okay, very nice. Awesome. And now, why did it end up popping your balloon? Just not aligned religiously, but you're dressed so nice, Appreciate so attractive. It. Thank you. I don't understand. It's not making any sense. What was it? He said all the things before that he went to, he was believing in God, Christian, etc. Then at the very end, the tail end, when he told her that we had to go to church consistently, she popped a balloon. I'm like, what was there not to be understood? These women, hey, hey, it is what it is. Ultimately, it is what it is. That's crazy work. Thank yeah. you so much. And now, Cameraman did him dirty. Yes, definitely. I like the accessories she has, you know, and I see she has style with the white shoes. So definitely. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. All right. So we do still have quite a few balloons left on Popped. Okay. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question. Just to help you narrow it down. See okay. who's more your type. Definitely. So what would you say is one interesting or unique thing about yourself? Why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, just I love her style, you know, the black. Uh, mainly, I think just initially just the physical attraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dudes be saying this stuff so e it's the physical attraction. It's just it's nothing personal. It's just that we're we're not aligned physically. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> but you just said you basically you say shorty is which you know what? I can just say, I'd rather somebody just say you're not their type than you say where that there is the physical attraction. Um because everybody knows beauty is beauty. If a person look like a nine, bruh, you're not nines are just physically attractive to everybody say that you maybe not i don't think he necessarily is into her and i think it's more so to do with her character than it is her physical attraction because she's not necessarily unattractive it's the physical it's the it's the the alignment with character how she's dressed and how she carry herself those are the things that's going to disqualify you from majority of man and woman like vice versa that's just my opinion though of course like i said i'm not about to go through all this this whole we're going to get to the points and keep it moving to the next guy in the next video. You know what I'm talking about? All right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. And I love the hair, the color, you know, everything. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. Okay. Go ahead and ask our beautiful ladies another question. Okay. If you was to describe yourself slash your personality as an animal, what would it be? Wow. Let's start down there and then move okay. back. <laughs> all right let's start with you i think that i would be a cheetah okay i feel like i am majestic and kind of fast in a way all right 
and whoa shorty that's not a good description hold up hold up you can't whoa what are we talking about how are you fast <laughs> what about you looks fast unless we talking about she fast with the giving up the, the treats that's a whole nother conversation but there's nothing fast about shorty here bro i'm gonna be honest I don't see what, how a cheetah would be her. I'm not gonna be disrespectful though. Um, but a cheetah is not what. No, we not we not gonna just let that slip slide. Like you're not a cheetah. No, no. Come on, come on now, come on. You gotta do better than that. And yeah. Okay. So for me, I would say probably a bird. Right. Um, because I feel like I have a free spirit and like I mentioned before, I really like to enjoy life. So I would say a bird. Definitely like that. Be careful of them free spirited woman, man. I'm telling you now, be careful of them free spirited woman. Those are the ones that, that put you on that support boy. Like be careful of them free spirit. I'm a free spirit, which means she's just, she doesn't know where she's going to end up. She has no direction in life. Okay. There's it, being free spirit. It can be decent when it's with, within a controlled environment, like a national park. <laughs> but when you all here just out here, just free spirited, and you flying to anywhere and everywhere, typically it, it gets chaotic. So nah, 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 you gotta be careful with them. Gotta be careful. Can I answer? Yeah. Over here, I would say a lioness because um, the lions are known to be the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. But if you know anything about them as creatures, um, the woman um, is actually really the homestead for, yes. for them, so. Uh, she's giving me extreme masculine vibes. Any dude you see hold her, you see how she holding her wrist? Any female you see holding her wrist like that, masculine. I'm telling you this now extreme masculine like the, the type of masculine you be like damn why is she so masculine any type of female you ever see do that security police officer she play play sports it, 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 extremely masculine compared to the other woman look at the other woman hold their hands how they keep their hands it's all pretty and, and dainty now i'm not saying you can't excuse me I, i'm not saying you can't be that but i'm just like bro it's not gonna be a good look Cause it's gonna talk. How you do one thing is how you do a lot of things. And if she her, if she carrying herself like that with the nonverbal, she's not communicating, but she communicating. Do you understand? And she got a nose ring. She got. I'm not even call it a nose ring. She got a nostril ring. <laughs> okay. We gonna we gonna keep it skipping. We gonna we gonna skip a little forward. Like I said, we're not trying to do every single element. And I'm on a time crunch, so we gonna skip a little ahead. Go ahead and pop one of those balloons. Just one. Just one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Why did we end up popping hers? I think I love all the responses so far. Definitely. I think the compatibility, especially with the anime and the things, I think just it wouldn't gel well with me. But, you know, I love your smile. I love the pearls. Um, and, yes, I just think off of the vibe. All right. And now why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? I think that he has a really nice style. Um, his career is really intriguing, and I would Thank love you. to le learn more about it. Thank but, you. Um, and see, this yeah. is this is this is why I'm gonna title this video. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is why I'm gonna title this video. He was too feminine because the woman that he wants does not want him because he's too feminine. The woman that he doesn't want, they want him because they see the feminine in him. And they think he's going to be a better partner relative to others. I mean, but as soon as Tyrone come out, I mean, they pretty much done with you. But the point is, he can't attract the woman that he want because they think he's too feminine. And that's what matters the most. It's not about the woman that, don't want, that you don't want. I don't want certain type of woman, so I don't care about what, what it makes. I don't want to attract them. I want to attract certain type of woman. And if you attract certain type of woman to attract them, you a certain crate that they're going to be looking for because they're typically going to be attractive to multiple different men. So majority of men have certain qualities, et cetera, build mentality. You have to have a masculine frame, a, a, a masculine mentality. And he fails on that in a lot of ways, a lot of ways um, that go beyond, again, 
the conversation piece. I think he's a good talker. I think he overall a good dude too. I'm not saying he's necessarily a bad guy. It's how he carry himself that will make it so that those top tier women, in particular the ones to the further, further up, they not gonna really rock with his energy to the level that he would like. They might not really mess with him, and we gonna see that break down a little further. Up. I was just gonna say that I have a son. That's all. One key, one key question. It's, it'll be quick. No, no, it's not actually a question. Well, it's more of a statement. Please. please okay, please. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I have. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I guess. Never mind then. I was just gonna say that I have a son. That's all. If it was a deal breaker for anybody, but that's it. Okay. Yeah. What? Doing? I'll come back. Actually, no. Let's let's go here first, and then we'll go to her. Okay. So okay. why did we end up popping? Um, I. I understand there's a lot of beautiful women up here, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like when you get narrowed down to two, I want an intentional man. I, okay. I want you to be able to choose what, what's best for you, so. That's fair, yeah, I was just mentioning that I had a son, that's all. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now he- So he just mentioned at the very end, so he has a lot of indecisiveness, and a lot of, that's that feminine that we talk about, how he carry himself. It's not, it's not gonna be the looks, it's not gonna be how he speak necessarily. It's going to be the aura, the energy, and how he carry himself. Um, and I'm going to leave it off there, man. Honestly, like I guess I, I want to, as we're going to, we're going to unpack other parts of this, this pop the balloon. Trust me. I got some more content for them um, about how they handle the Tyrone, how they handle the guy that then nobody really wants to talk to. We're going to talk about all of them. But for this guy in particular, closing comments, I definitely believe he has um, some good qualities, like I said before. But if you're a man and you want to mimic any of his abilities, if you're cool with getting the woman that isn't necessarily your ideal or are you that you aren't necessarily attracted to, then go ahead. It's going to be okay. But if you want to attract a particular type of woman and you want to be intentional in that aspect, um, moving like him you you going you going to end up falling you going you you going to end up getting the short end of the stick man because um he's not attracting the woman that he wants because the woman that he want can attract a multitude of different men and she's going to be running into men that have alpha characteristics alpha traits alpha mentality uh and I'm not saying that he's necessarily not an alpha but he also isn't necessarily the cream of the crop and when you have both options at your disposal, I mean, it's pretty much, it's not even a fair game. And you're going to see a guy who comes up, I'm going to have that in the next video. I might even pin it at the end of this video when I make it. You're going to see a guy that's alpha that they can't resist. And it's going to be a point that it's almost, it's impossible to, he's irresistible to a lot of women when you compare him to this type of man. Um, which is why when he's in his feminine, you get into this imbalance of like, should I really pick him? Do it. Should I be with him? Because they have this option that they know about to come, right? And when they compare him to you, your feminine ways versus his masculine ways is almost not even a question. Again, you a stud versus a woman who wear who who has a, who has the ability to wear dresses like those women was wearing in those videos. It's, it's almost not even a question. You're not even gonna think, even though she can have great personality, great character, you know. But it's gonna be how she move on the nonverbal that's gonna throw you off. And especially when you have multiple options, you're going to pick that woman who got that dress, so to speak. Typically, like, OK, some dudes are going to be weirdos, but I mean, it is what it is. But hey, it's another video in the books. I appreciate you, man. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.